was happening, I had, had, had three and a half years of ministry uh, where I was publicly telling people the truth. But the majority of people had one major fear about doing anything about it. And you know what the major fear was? Being judged. Torture. The fear of death. Yeah. It was the fear of death. They could not accept right, that there was such a thing as a continuous existence. And so when I talk to them, the same as I'm talking to you about dealing with their emotions. Right? But what's the point? Like, I'm just going to die anyway, and there's nothing after that. What's the point of dealing with your emotions if that's the case? None really, is there? You might as well just go and do what you want right now, and you know, eat, drink, and be merry, for tomorrow we're going to die. That's the attitude that many of them had. And I got to the point, after three and a half years of ministry, that I realised that this was a major emotional blockage to any of them experiencing God's love. So while some of them had experienced trickles of God's love by dealing with their emotions, in particular many of the women that I spoke to, the majority of the men weren't. And the reason why was they were still very focused intellectually, they still had a lot of emotions in them that were focused intellectually as well. And instead of experiencing the emotions, they chose to stay in that state. They had a lot of antagonism towards women, which was causing them to actually reject God's love as well. And so... And they were having lots of struggles to even deal with those emotions. So in the end I realised that um, as it was foretold in the Bible that eventually I would die anyway because everybody who is a person who stands up for truth, eventually people with error want to kill you, right? That's just a natural occurrence. And I believe that's not going to be a natural occurrence of this life because there's so many people who want truth now. But back then everybody didn't want truth very much at all. And so... What happened was that uh, I decided that not only was I going to need to die at some point, but the, the process of my death would actually prove to them that there is life beyond death. And that would actually open them up so much emotionally that they would begin to receive divine love. Does that make sense? And so um, I tried to avoid situations where I was passing a number of times. So I, there were a number of times where I was harmed and so forth. But, but I managed to get away or heal the problem within myself that that person had caused. But on this last occasion, I was told three or four hours before they, the soldiers came to get me that they were going to come to get me if I stayed in that location in the Garden of Gethsemane. And, and I decided to not stay, to stay there and to, to not avoid the situation. And that's how it happened. What emotion were you feeling at the time? Um, there were a lot of personal emotions that I was feeling, as well as emotions about my father's plans and everything. And um, the prayer in John 17, John chapter 17, sort of outlines some of the feelings that I had towards my father. But I also had some personal emotions of uh, sadness about about my soulmate and my relationship um, not being able to continue in the way that it was continuing. And so I had a lot of personal emotions about. Um, you know, making the choice to, to actually leave my soulmate. And, and that was really hard for me at the time, and very hard for her. And in fact, she, you know, got very angry with me afterwards as a result of my choice. But um, I felt it was necessary in order to prove to everybody that the divine love would flow. And what happened after my death is that because of their grief and everything, they began feeling lots of different emotions. And when they started feeling those emotions, they started receiving divine love to such a point that at Pentecost there was, a, there was about 120 people. So 50 days after my death, there was about 120 people who had received so much divine love that they could even speak different languages now automatically. And that caused um, huge changes on the earth. Th their, their knowing that there was no such thing as death caused huge changes on the earth as a result.